not many men even know they have a pelvic floor. And so one of the aims is to teach all men that this very important part of their anatomy is something they should be familiar with. So we're going to go through a, an opportunity to look at that on an ultrasound machine and I'm also going to share with you the outcomes and the protocols that are developed for pelvic floor training for men with prostate cancer. So here we have the model of a male pelvis. What we're looking at here is the bladder, directly below that is the prostate and directly below that is the pelvic floor. And the pelvic floor is like a hammock at the base of the body cavity that has three layers. What we know is the prostate acts like the plug of the urinary system. So when it has cancer in it and it needs to be removed, there's going to be quite a massive change to the control of continence. So first of all, because this muscle is very unfamiliar to most men, I like to get them visually thinking about what they need to do to activate it. So I'm working here with Ross and we're performing a transabdominal ultrasound. I like this position in particular because it's non-invasive. I don't have to have the patient lying down because really I'm interested in what his function's like in standing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let go. So he would do those ten rapid ones as quickly as possible aiming for one second per contraction or less, with a goal of being eight seconds in total, or 0.8 of a second or faster, to be fast enough for the pelvic floor muscle to contract when situations arise where there's that downward pressure. The opposite goal is to see how long you can hold for. So we're aiming for up to one minute. Russ started at 39 seconds, which is awesome. A lot of guys, when I initially start with them, might only be able to lift and hold their pelvic floor for three seconds. So another little benchmark for him at home. So well done, Ross. You were really fast. You did the quick 10 in seven seconds and then the long hold you sustained for 39 seconds. And that's a nice clear guide as to our progress.